Welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you how to create and run your first Ruby program in RubyMine. Before going through this tutorial, you need to install Ruby on your computer. For instructions on how to prepare the Ruby environment, please see the Set up a Ruby development environment topic linked in the description. We are using RVM, a popular Ruby version manager for Linux and Mac OS. It allows you to easily install, manage, and work with multiple Ruby environments. The RVM list command lets you see a list of installed Ruby versions, which in our case includes 2.63 and 2.70. Let's create a new Ruby project using RubyMine. On the welcome screen, click Create New Project. In the New Project dialog, you can create different types of projects empty or gem projects. Rails applications and engines, and so on. On the left hand side, select Empty Project in the Ruby group. In the Location field, you can change the project's location and name. Let's change the name to Ruby Hello World. Then we need to select the required Ruby interpreter in the Ruby SDK dropdown. As you can see, all interpreters installed using RVM are available here. Let's select 2.70 and click Create to create the project. If necessary, you can always change the Ruby interpreter later in languages and frameworks, Ruby SDK, and GEMS. After creating a project, you will see its structure in the Project Tool window on the left. To add a new Ruby file, right-click the project root and select New, Ruby File, Class. In the displayed pop-up, make sure that file is selected. Specify the script name and press Enter, and RubyMine will create an empty Ruby script. Now let's write some code. The program will accept the name entered by the user and return a greeting. Notice that RubyMine suggests completing the names of methods and variables as you type. Now we are ready to run the script. We'll show you several possible ways to do this in RubyMine. Right-click the editor and select Run Script from the context menu. RubyMine will run the script in the separate Run Tool window and shows the program's output. Switch focus to this window, enter any name, and press Enter to check that everything works fine. After you've run the script for the first time, RubyMine creates a temporary run configuration, which has the same name as our script. Let's take a look at it. The configuration stores the full path to the script and the working directory. If necessary, you can specify additional parameters, such as script arguments, environment variables, command line arguments, and so on. You can save the temporary run configuration by clicking Save to be able to quickly run scripts with the required parameters in the future. To run the script using the created run configuration, make sure it's selected on the toolbar and click the Run button. One more way to quickly run the created configuration is to use the Run Anything pop-up. Press Ctrl twice, start typing the configuration name to find it, and then press Enter to run the script. And that's it! Thanks for watching.